Hey, what's up guys, I'm Lan here. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how you can send more than 25 MB of file through your email. Now, most of we use email IDs and whenever we need to send more than 25 MB of file, that time we fail. Because according to Google, if we are using Gmail, we cannot send more than 25 MB of file through our email ID. But sometimes, let's say it is an important file and you have an important attachment that needs to be sent through your friend and any of the colleagues that you have. So in this video, I'll show you how you can send more than 25 MB of file through your email ID and actually you can send up to 2 gigabytes of file so the service that we are going to use is completely free so without further wasting any time let's jump into the video and let's see how everything is done Before starting the video, I would like to say this is my channel. As you can see, this is the home page of my channel. And guys, I'm a new YouTuber. Guys, I need your support. As you can see, the number of subscribers is quite less. So guys, I need your support to grow my channel. And also, if you like my videos and if you enjoy this content, so definitely give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel, guys. So without further ado, so let's just see how we can transfer more than 25 MB of file through our email. So in order to do that, we need to go to a website called vtransfer.com. So let me just go to that website for that matter. So let me try in vtransfer.com. So as you can see, it's going to that website. And guys, my internet connection is a little bit down. So it might take some time for me to get to that website. So as you can see, when we open that website, you will get a rectangular square box where you need to add your files. And as you can see, if you can hover your cursor to this thing, it would say that uh, it would say that you can add up to two GB of file. Now in here, you would be getting so many fill in the blanks like option. Here you can uh, you know, type in your sender's email ID, here you can type your email ID and if you want to dedicate some extra message or if you want to type in some message you can do that here. So let me for that matter you can add up to 2 GB. For the demo purpose let me just add one of my file. I have the file at my desktop. Guys it's only 148 bytes as you can see and this is just for the demo purpose as you can see here after you add the file it will say one file added and 2 GB remaining so if you would have added 250 MB of file then it would have shown like two files added and this much amount is remaining so let me just type into the sender's email ID for that matter my email ID gmail.com so and also let me type my another email id from which i want to send the mail at gmail.com and let me just uh, uh, in the message type demo files and uh, as you can see here i have you know, filled up all the details and if you can click on these three dots you will get other options like as you can see here you would be getting two options you can send this mail as an email itself or you can send this thing as a link so and also as you can see here this is we transfer services and also they have a pro version for this now if you opt for the pro version it, as you can see here or uh, you know after you send the email it will be valid for one more week so Within this one week of time frame, user has to download this file. If user doesn't download the file within one week of time frame, those files will be automatically removed from the sender's email inbox. Now, if you have the Vtrans for Pro version, you can customize this time frame a little bit and also you can set up a password if you have the plus version but let's not think about that because we are not using this pro version we are using the free version and as you can see here i have successfully added the file and i have put the sender email id i have put my email id from where i'm sending the file and in the message i have written demo file so let me just go ahead and click on transfer so as you can see here it's showing zero byte of 148 byte uploaded and it will like it will complete the percentage up to 100% as you can see 
here it says your the download email will be sent and your transfer is available for seven days as you can see here so now you're done with this if you want you can send another one so let me just check my email inbox whether i have got the email or not so i have my email inbox open in my google chrome web browser so let me just see uh, let me just refresh as you can see here we have got the email from WeTransfer as you can see here techxbusiness at the gmail.com has sent you a file via WeTransfer so normally whoever is sending you the file it will be uh, it will be coming to you as the name of WeTransfer but when you open that file you can see here from this email id you got some file as you can see here it is clearly written techxbusiness at the gmail.com has sent you some files and also the message what i had written it is mentioned there as you can see demo files so the files here is youtube default text what i had selected previously and you have the option to download it from here itself and as you can see here it will be deleted automatically on 25th of february that is seven days after the 18th of february so let me just go ahead and click on this download button as you can see here when you click on this download button it would be automatically redirected to another web page so let's just wait for let's see what happens as you can see it is automatically going to this v transfer page and uh guys my internet connection is a little bit so so please bear with me guys so let me see so as you can see now after clicking to this download button so this page would be automatically open so the page of we transfer as you can see ready when you are files will be deleted within seven days as you can see there's a circular symbol of download button and as you can see here this is my message what i had written and it is the file itself so here you can click on the download button in order to get your files as you can see here the download uh, you know files that i had sent i have successfully downloaded that files and as you can see your download has started and automatically it has finished so guys basically this v transfer services is completely free so if you can you know up your budget a little bit also you can opt for the pro version and in the pro version you'll get up to 25 of gb like you can send the files up to 25 25 gb at one shot so nevertheless you can send files up to 2 gb if you're using the free version so i thought i should be making video on this topic itself so this is an interesting service as well as the service is free so uh, basically you can use vtransfer.com in order to transfer you files so that's it for today's video if you like the video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also if you're new here on my channel and watching this video right now definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel because like this video i make videos and upload it on every week so if you're new here on my channel definitely go ahead and click that on subscribe button so that's it for today's video thanks all of you for watching the video have a great day bye bye